hello everybody um, after my little break I'm back with loads of miniature goodness um, can you just check uh, that you can all hear me and everything's working properly as uh, after I've been away it might not be working so hello Carlos Umbro nice to see you Umbro hope you're well and Michelle Scorpler yes good 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 well today um, I'm going to just be improving this townhouse by battle systems now I did a little video on YouTube last week of the cottage um, and I've had lots of people getting in touch saying they wanted to see how I did it the complete thing so I'm gonna show you it's very very simple um, and so I'll give you a little 360 of the townhouse um, and it was bought on the Kickstarter and I know a few of my patrons actually uh, back to this Kickstarter as well so this will be quite useful to them um, it's all cardboard and it's all comes apart so you've got the interiors of the building I mean it's all very very nice uh, but there's lots of things that can be improved on this miniature uh, and that is to make it stronger and the first thing I needed to do was I added a MDF board a little six millimeter MDF board and stuck it on with PVA glue and I've put some sand around and that's made it really nice and sturdy. Hi, the bold GM. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you um, is the roof. If we go into the light, you can see it's got a horrible reflection on the on the roof there. Um, so that takes away. We want to get rid of that glare on the roof. So I'm going to use some anti shine uh, paint, and uh, we're going to go through this together today. Like I say, if you want to watch the video. Uh, there is a video of the fin finished cottage I did, and that's on my YouTube channel. Uh, but people have been saying they want to watch me do this, so here I am. <laughs> yeah, um, my partner, um, my partner Claire, she was putting these putting these models together for me last week while I was doing other work. I could hear her screaming. The, the smaller models aren't too bad um, as you can see they're all held together by these little grey clips um, and they're, they're a little bit of an eyesore uh, but on the larger miniatures because they do um, they do taverns, water mills, they've got a big church and uh, Claire was making all these buildings and she, you, ha you have to they don't come with instructions so you have to watch the videos they've put out to show you how to put these little townhouses together and honestly, you will not want to put them together twice. Once is enough because Claire was screaming. I could hear her screaming. <laughs> um, just to give you a little bit of scale, uh, these are some little Reaper Miniatures townsfolk. Um, so you can get a good sense of scale. They are a nice scale for your uh, games. So we've got the uh, farmer there and the little brewer man. Okay, let's get let's let's make a start. So I've got so I've got some anti shine. I'm just going to put that onto my palette there. Now this anti shine isn't uh, needs more mixing. It's gone all thick and lumpy. So let's see if we can use the other one. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm just using a large brush by Army Painter. Now, the key to adding to cardboard is not to get it wet because if we get this wet, it's going to warp. And what will happen is the initial picture here, that will all come off. So I'm just going to load some of this anti-shine onto my paintbrush. And what we do, we just go over nice and evenly over all the roof area not too thickly one coat is enough to get rid of that glare I can hear my cat meowing at me so it's just going over the whole roof quick and simple we'll feed you in a week <laughs> what I found with these uh, miniatures 
Uh, I'm, I'm calling them miniatures because to me it's miniatures. Um, they were quite expensive. Um, I personally, if I, I, I'd probably spend a little bit more and I'd go for tabletop world miniatures. Um, but these are very nice. But uh, to be honest, for the price, when you when they go retail, uh, some of them are quite expensive. So um, I don't, I really don't know if it's worth worth paying the extra for these types of cardboard miniatures. Now what we'll do is we'll let this dry and see the shine there. That should all just disappear as soon as this is dry. So I'll go on to the other side. Can every um, see? I got my new stickers. Uh, let me quickly show you my stickers. Uh, Michelle made me the Goblin King, and uh, she got, she's in chat now. Everybody who is a patron, who is our uh, five dollars and more patron, these will be sent of your Christmas cards uh, next month, and you'll also get the Goblins of Mordor sticker. And these are just absolutely to die for. They're beautiful and absolutely lovely. So Michelle done a fantastic job I think they are absolutely gorgeous Little Goblin Kings for everybody so they'll be sent uh, to everybody next month thank you so much to Michelle it's really nice when you've got a community of uh, patrons who are also artists and painters themselves and um, they can do little things for you and make you stickers and design things. Lots of clever, clever wee goblins in the goblin army. Just let that dry a little bit, and then we'll come back to that. Give our brush a wash. Hello, Grim. Now, the next thing we can do, we'll take this off. Now, the next part is we go over all the edging on all our little miniatures because as you can see um, because it's cardboard when you pop out all the uh, parts for your miniature of course you're getting the inside of the card and that shows up on all the edges all around the door and the windows uh, so we want to improve those a little bit so all we need for that is I'm using some Agrax Earth Shade and some Nun Oil and it doesn't matter which company you use the uh, oil from or the washes um, as long as you've got the black and the brown and what we'll do is we'll go around all the areas of the wood areas with the brown and some black around the top areas here and it's a very simple case of just using a medium sized brush and going around all these areas so we'll do that now No, this is a this is a cardboard cardboard uh, buildings by um, uh, it's just a cardboard build. It's not plastic. It's not a three D print. Um, it's from Battle Systems. It's an English company. Um, they did a Kickstarter last year. Was it no? Sorry, this year was it this year or last year? I can't remember now. Might might have been last year. <laughs> I, I backed so many Kickstarters. I can't remember when they were. Anyway, this came um, a few weeks back. And I just um, I just started putting them together 
uh, and Claire started putting them together and uh, just trying to make them look a little bit nicer um, because what they were they, they're supposed to be you're supposed to be able to take these apart take them to your friend's house put them together um, and that isn't the case uh, that won't work um, they're not strong enough they need to be put onto um, an MDF board or a strong board just to give them a little bit of added support um, so in a way a little bit of kind of false advertising on the actual Kickstarter because uh, you can't do you can't do what it said on the box and that was strip them down and take them apart they they're not they're too fragile the the paper does tear um, when we're putting these clips on um, it's pulling the cardboard it was ripping the paper um, so you don't want to be taking them apart and putting them back together taking them apart because you'll end you'll end up with nothing left Don't get me wrong, though. Um, they are once they're built up, they are very, very nice. Um, I know I'm a bit ruthless with my reviews. I'm a bit ruthless telling the truth about things. Um, I'm not going to lie to anyone and say, "Oh, these are amazing. You should buy these." And no, um, once they're stuck to the board and you've painted them up a little bit more, um, they actually look really, really good. Um, so that's not an issue. yeah yeah the vortex mixer is really good um i did i did get sprayed with nun oil um because <laughs> i i put my um i put my nun oil on the mix and i forgot the lid was slightly off <laughs> i got i got sprayed oh that wasn't fun Yeah, that, well, that, that was the thing, Michelle. Um, the Kickstarter advertised these um, that um, when you buy them, they they you're able to take them apart, put them together, take them to the game stores, take them to your friend's house, and you should be able to just when you know start a game, have them all flat packed, and then put them up. Um, but you could probably do that maybe once or twice, and you'll end up with all the paper ripped, and it was, I mean. Claire's in chat, she'll, she'll back me up on this. These were absolute nightmarish. Um, so it's a, a case of leaving them built uh, because you honestly, you will not want to put them together again, especially the harder buildings. The tavern um, and you had the church um, and the water mill, these are very hard buildings to put together. Um, so and they, they're not strong, even with the supports. So you need to glue parts of the buildings together to give them that extra strength. But as a miniature, once they're built and stuck to your board, I mean, this isn't going anywhere now. Um, and once I've finished it, it'll look really nice from a tabletop. But on saying that, I probably would not have backed the Kickstarter if I knew what I was going to receive uh, once it had finished. Um, uh, but because I have backed this Kickstarter and I've paid a lot of money for it, uh, I'm not going to just chuck it in the bin. I'm going to make an effort and make sure they get, are used on my tabletop. Um, there'll be lots and lots of people out there that think these are amazing. Um, I, I just hope I, I can help a few people make these miniatures a little bit better or show them just simple ways to make them a little bit better for their tabletop games and like I say all I'm doing is I'm going over all the edges of the cardboard uh, where it was clipped in 
on the board uh, because that comes out white so it's just a simple case of just going over all the areas and I found ink wash is the best way because that soaks into the cardboard plus it's not too dark you don't want to use um, a, a direct black on there because if you if I used um, pure black it would show the black would just be outstanding so with the ink wash um, it's it's more it's more of a shade uh, so you're just uh, having a shade on the uh, cardboard um, if you use say dragon black it would the, that dragon black would be jumping at you it would be much too dark oh hello mighty lancer games um i got to um say um a huge huge shout out to mighty lancer games um i had a parcel from them today i ordered one of these um uh, static grass applicators um, and what it is um, I'll do a little review on it uh, I haven't used it yet I'm really excited to use it um, it only came a couple of hours ago and what it does um, once I add all the static grass to this um, model I've never used one before but it's supposed to do all special things with the grass makes it stick up on the end and that type of stuff um, and uh, it's one of those things where it, you know you spoil you spoil yourself for miniatures um, buying all these little mods and cons. Anyway, the, sh the shout out was because I opened the parcel and um, they'd included um, all the 3D prints of the Hero Quest miniatures, um, and I was jumping up like a little, like a little, sk <laughs> little schoolboy um, because I, I, Hero Quest is one of my all-time favourites. Um, so I'll be getting those painted up and showing off. So I want a huge thank you to Mighty Lancer Games for sending them to me because they are fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> They're a good company. They are the best. <laughs> mm. See, now I've lost where I am now. Okay, there we are, we're back here. Um, don't forget, I have got uh, a competition running on my Twitter channel. Um, if you go to my homepage on Twitter, I think there's a link to Twitter below this video somewhere. Um, and what it is, it's a Halloween competition. Um, and it's uh, it's not based the competition is not based on how your best paint so anybody can enter um, and it's just to take a photograph of your miniatures it doesn't matter what company the miniatures are from um, but what we'll do is we'll be picking out three of the best Halloween themed uh, little dioramas um, and there's three prizes you've got your first second and third prize now first prize is uh, 50 pounds um, gift voucher either from Mighty Lancer Games or Reaper Miniatures and you've got a second place prize which is £10 voucher from Mighty Lancer Games or Reaper Miniatures and a third which is also £10 from Mighty Lancer Games or Reaper Miniatures. Uh, so I hope um, everybody um, has a go. All you got to do is try to take a photograph in a nice Halloween, Halloween themed style of your miniatures and just post your pictures um, underneath my pinned tweet that it's that is on my, my home page on Twitter and you've got till the 31st so you've got 11 more days to enter the competition um, do not worry if your painting skills aren't up the par or you're worried thinking that you're no good because it's not about best paint um, it's about just taking a picture having a bit of fun and we'll be picking which uh, which one is the most spookiest so it doesn't matter how old you are or how uh, good you are at painting everybody has a chance of winning it's just about having a bit of fun um, I know it's uh, crazy times out there I know everybody's busy but um, um, it's it's free to enter and you've got a chance of winning a 50 pound voucher to buy beautiful miniatures so I'm just going around all the little windows now I don't know if you can see it well in in the picture there I'm looking at a tiny little screen so I can't tell 
how far away. But what I want to do, I'm just going around all the edges of all the cardboard. And that just works really nicely. And we're just letting all that ink wash just soak into the cardboard. And like I say, it's not dragon black, so it's not given a really strong colour. It's just working really well and making it look more worn. I mean, I suppose you could you could use um, a felt tip pen, but I don't think a felt tip it's easier to use ink wash. Ink wash wouldn't be done. Um, felt tip pen, you'll be scraping at the cardboard, uh, trying to get the ink on from the pen. Okay, I think that's all that done. Like I say, it's super simple, just to improve these a little bit more. Let's go back and have a look at our roof, see if that's coming on. Right, as I can, I can see, I've missed a couple of little bits. So we could put the roof back on. And as you can see, it's already better, but you can see there now, you can see where I've missed a tiny little bit there and just along there but the rest the rest is totally matte now and that's how you want it you don't want any reflection um, and it just improves the miniature 100% getting rid of that nasty little reflection and I've done it there I've missed a little bit just there so we'll quickly go over those bits There we go, just get it in the light. Just. There we are, just paint over that little bit there. More. Maybe a little bit just there. And just there. There we are. Let's check this side. Yes, it does make a difference. It's, it's um, just adding this uh, anti-shine. Um, it really loses that glare because you know we all play, we all play the games inside. So wherever you are, you're going to get a reflection on that roof. So just adding this matte varnish is absolutely super necessary. There we are, just there. Uh, and just along the side of the chimney there there we go and once that's dry it'll be totally matte I mean just doing that to your miniature improves it 100% in my opinion it's just really does um, it's a great thing to do to all the roofs um, they look so much better on the um, tabletop once that's done right let's move on to the chimney now what I also found with these miniatures I don't know if you can see the chimney there but when you fold the cardboard into four it leaves a real nasty quite large gap now you, you've got two options you can either fill in the gap with some plastic putty and go up the side or you can just go over with the ink wash. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over with that ink wash and again we'll be using the black ink wash for that one and also on the top so we're just one brush Okay, so what we're doing is we're just going around the top of the the, the chimney pot with our black ink wash because we don't want it white at the top and a chimney would not be white at the top anyway, it'd be full of soot. And so we just get some black ink wash in there. And the same around here. Just let the ink wash do the work for you. 
And what we do, we just go down the side of the chimney. That'll darken that up nicely. Give a little bit of shade in there and cover all that nasty area. Yeah, that's nice. And the same on the other side. Uh, the, uh, Mighty Lancer Games. I don't know if you're still here. Uh, do you sell? Uh, do you, will you be will you be selling these uh, in your shop? Um, because I, I, I don't know if because uh, they have they've been released on retail now. Like I say, this is all from the Kickstarter. Now on the Kickstarter, I also got the tavern. I got the tower, like a wizard's tower. Um, oh, I got loads of loads of these little miniatures. So what I'll do is, I'm going to make a video of each house I finish. Um, I'll probably just put those up onto YouTube. Um, if you want to see me do them on Twitch, then let me know. If do, would you like me to do more of these houses? On the Twitch channel, or would you rather me just carry on with my miniature painting? I'm quite happy to do both. I'll still be making a YouTube video of them all anyway. <laughs> yeah, you Claire enjoyed building the Wizard's Tower. It was her favourite. Yes, um, I was going to say, um, I'm not really selling them very well, am I? <laughs> well, we're not going to be selling them now, Mikey. <laughs> no one's going to want to buy them now. <laughs> I mean, the, the, thing with, the, the, the thing is, I'm not going to lie. I don't lie about what I do. Um... I mean, let's let's put it this way. Uh, I'm, I'm sponsored by Reaper Miniatures, um, but I'm I'm not shy to say if I don't like something they've done. I am not shy to say if one of their miniatures is rubbish. Um, and to be honest, if you know, what's the what's the point in uh, in trying to um, make out everything's fantastic when it's not? Um, that, that no one would trust you. I, I want people to want. I want people to think. Oh, Mike tells the truth about these miniatures. Yeah, let's have a listen to Mikey. What he has to say. He's not gonna. He's not gonna try and sell us a piece of rubbish. Um. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> that sounds terrible. These aren't rubbish. They're just not what they're supposed to be. They're not as strong as they're supposed to be. And honestly, these aren't cheap. The tavern. Um, I was looking on the website, the tavern is going for £40. Uh, Wizard's Tower, I think, as well, is £40. I mean, that's a lot of money for a cardboard building. Um, I mean, no offence. I mean, they, they, well, I think what it is, what with, with the 3D printing and everything now, it, it, it actually works out cheaper to print your own in, in a nice solid resin. Um, I don't know. I... I I mean, I I paid for this Kickstarter, so I'm going. I'm I'm making an effort to make sure I use it, use it, you know. Yeah, yeah. They, these aren't easy to put together. No doubt about that. Poor old Claire. <laughs> Poor old Claire. I put together I put I put together the cottage and I put together this one. Uh I think Claire did all the others. Uh because I think I'd have set fire to him after <laughs> I was fuming. I I was chucking bits of cardboard around the house. <laughs> I mean I see myself as a quite an experienced model maker and builder. Um but when I was trying to build some of these things and that's what you know. You have to watch a video to put these together. 
and honest to God, you got to keep on rewinding the video, forwarding the video, rewinding the video, forward the video, rewind the video because you're trying to get the clips in the right place and find the right clips and what bit, bit, bits go together. And it's like, these are nice and easy for your tabletop games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Still, I'll be making a video of each house once I've finished them. Um, so there is that. Um, I mean, I will make these all look nice and pretty. Um, and I will be using them in my games. Because I am not going to waste the money I spent on these miniatures and just keep them in the box. I'm going to make them all nice. Okay, let's move on to the clips. Now these models, as you can see, are covered in grey clips. So what we're doing there, I got some turkey brown, as it's coming up towards Christmas. <laughs> I got some turkey brown by MSP. And all I'm going to do is go over all the plastic areas with the brown. And this will just blend in these clips a little bit better with the house. But as you can see already, what I've done so far, it's improved it 100%. The, the map has gone, all the little white areas have now gone from around the windows. It's all shaded in nicely, just by doing those simple things and it's improved that miniature no end. And all I've done is used a matte varnish, um, a brown, uh, actually I haven't even used the brown ink wash, I've, I've only used the black ink wash on this miniature. Um, so what I'll do now is I'm gonna paint the brown clips and again, a very simple thing, which is paint the brown clips. And then once they're, once they're dry, I'll probably add a little black or brown ink wash over them. And that's, that's it done, really. Again, I'll carry on using the regiment brush from Army Painter. Oh, probably be a bit easier if I take the roof back off. Now you can paint the clips while they're off the building. Um, it would probably make more sense. Um, but what will happen, because it's acrylic paint, if you pa if you painted the clips off the building, what will, the paint will chip off when you slide it onto the building. So uh, I find I find it's easier just to get the paint on while it's on the building. So you just got to have a steady hand and just quickly go over the clips. It doesn't take long. Hello, Muse's Touch. Now, uh, you're, I know Muse's Touch, uh, um, she's going to, she's in the process of making uh, some miniatures for my Halloween competition. So I'm looking forward to seeing that.
Now on my Thursday stream coming up, I'm going to make a start back on the Reaper Miniatures chess set. Um, I'm going to probably make, be making a start on the actual board itself. Um, so that's going to be quite exciting because I'm making the chess set for the Reaper Miniatures. Um, and I'm actually making the board as well. So the board will be to total custom made board for my Reaper Miniatures. Um, so on Thursday, I'm going to be making a start on that board. I'll be using um, Hearst Arts bricks, those little bricks you can get from Hearst Arts. Uh, so I'll be making a nice little board from that. And of course, I've already got all the Reaper Miniatures that I need for the chessboard. Now, it's not going to be done in a day. It's going to take quite a long time. Um, so what I'll be doing is um, it will be in segments. Um, I'll be making the board and showing you parts of the board I'm making um, and then the miniatures. So that will be over quite probably quite a few months because um, it's going to take a while to get that one done. But that will be just like um, on different shows. So I'll, I'll carry on with different miniatures as normal. Um, I'll still be doing my WizKids streams as well. Uh, and there'll be loads and loads of other Reaper Miniatures streams uh, that aren't to do with the chess set. I just want to make a start on that chess board on the next Thursday stream. Get this out of the way a little bit. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of these brown bits now. I mean, it's quite nice how you can go through all the different levels and put your little minis inside. I'm trying to get this in, <laughs> trying to get this in camera while I paint. Uh. Got a shake going on there. Let me steady myself. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yes, a chessboard is fantastic. Um, I've got lots of ideas for the chessboard. Now, I think what I'll be doing um, is like um, the chessboard is going to be raised. Um, so it's like a, a ruined temple. Um, so what will happen is you've got your building and inside the building uh, you'll have the chessboard. It'll be like, um, I don't know, like a Roman type chessboard maybe um, it's gonna be of course dungeons and dungeons and dragons kind of themed uh, lots of rubble and skeletons lying around maybe maybe even a little Medusa hiding somewhere um, but uh, I got lots and lots of ideas how I want the chessboard to look uh, but it will be old-school miniature styling um, of course what would else would you expect from me Yes, it was um, a crazy, crazy thing how um, um, I got all the miniatures from Reaper Miniatures. Um, and that's, it. that's again, thanks to Mighty Lancer Games and a few of my patrons. Um, uh, so I will be talking all about that on the Thursday show. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing how nice people are um, and also the companies. I mean, Reaper Miniatures are absolutely amazing what they have done to help me um, in my, as I call it, my miniature painting career. Because <laughs> it is, it, it is, a, it is a career, miniature painting. Right, that's where I can't put on that yet. 
I mean, it just proves it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can change your lifestyle. I mean, I was a chef for 30 years before I started doing this miniature painting full time. Um, so I was, uh, almost in, I was almost in my late 40s when I was full time miniature painting. Um, and if, if it proves to anyone, it shows that it doesn't matter what age you are. You're never too old to start new. You're never too old to start something fresh. And it just proves that us old gits <laughs> can still, can still, you know, play the game. Um, Cause it is difficult and, and it, to be able to start um, a business um, at a later age, it is scary. It's very, very scary. Um, but as long as you keep at it, um, show the love of what you do, um, it will work no matter no matter what. Um, and I, I, for the last four years, I've worked so hard to get where I am, um, and it's worked. It, it has worked. I, I make a living painting miniatures now. And if if anybody takes anything away from this, it's that you never. It doesn't matter who you are or what you you know what type of qualifications you are, because I am not the brain of Britain. Believe me, um, you can still make a living doing something you love. <laughs> Goblin King cookbook. God, that's an idea. Goblin King cook. I I could do that, you know. I could do I could do a cookbook um, with goblin recipes in it. How cool would that be? See that you got me thinking now, Grim. You got me thinking now. That would be really cool, actually. <laughs> I could do um goblin cakes and goblin cookies and. <laughs> yeah yeah i uh, see that's 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 um that's uh g light bulbs all going off everywhere now <laughs> there's one thing um i do love miniatures and food <laughs> it's gonna be all cookies <laughs> the goblin king's book of cookies Okay, so that's all the brown bits on. Just going to wait for that to dry a little bit. Let's just go back to the roof. Put that back on there. So as you can see, just by painting in these brown, it's blended in quite nicely with the rest of the building already. Um, and instead of it glowing with the grey, it now, you know, you really, it's quite a kind of looking at the building to see it um, and once these are dry I'll just add that uh, brown ink wash or the black ink wash and that'll blend it in even more with the building yes they'll still be there but it looks a lot better than just having grey clips going all around that building there Hi, hi, Tim. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been saying all the lovely things about the, the buildings. <laughs> I mean, Tim bought this Kickstarter as well, um, and I think Nafe bought the Kickstarter as well. He's one of my patrons as well, um, and we we all put the put a house together a few weeks ago, and we was all like, um, but doing a few little odds and ends uh, to these does make them a lot better i mean end of the day we have bought the damn things so there's no point not using them um and i i want to use them i want to make them look nice and that's what i'm doing um yes i was quite disappointed how they were put together i was quite disappointed that um um they're not as nice as i thought they'd be um but they are workable and uh, once they're uh, stuck to a board um, I'm, I, I mean I was really impressed when with the cottage that I finished so I was happy with that um, so you know I know we spent this money on the Kickstarter but end of the day you know we gotta we gotta still try and make good with what we've got um, I, I don't want to not use them Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Scorp was still still mad about the wizard's tower. <laughs> right then, let's have a look see. Yeah, it's dried quite nicely, it's hot in my room today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add that black ink wash to those clips. So we're just going around, the, I'll take this off so you can see it better. So I'm just going around the uh, clips. We're just adding a little bit of black. And this will just work really well. And blend these clips in a little bit better with that um, cardboard backing. Very simple. Oh, if you're wondering how cool is it that uh, my miniatures spin round, what I use is I got a little airbrush booth and it came with this little wheelie spinny wheelie thing. <laughs> wheelie spilly wheelie thing, I can't even say it probably. Um, it came with my airbrush vent um, and um, I think you can buy these online. Uh, you can buy these online for a couple of pounds. They're abs um, absolutely fantastic. You can also buy um, little potter's wheels, you know, for your clay. Now, once you put the, the miniature on, you can just spin it around. It makes it so easy to paint your miniatures on a, a work surface like this. You just spin it around and you can just get to the part that you need. Um, I know you can buy these little wheels on eBay, about four pounds, I think, uh, but they makes such a difference um, you can just get your house on there spin it around and go, Wee -hee! Wee -hee, I'm gonna paint this part like that. it's really really worth I mean you probably see me do my dragons when I paint my dragons I'll have them on this wheel I could just spin the dragon around and get to the places I want it just makes life a little bit easier when you're painting your minis highly recommended get yourself a little wheel to put your larger miniatures on for painting. Carousel near. Has anybody got um, any uh, uh, requests for future future twitch shows um, it can be anything to do with whiskids it can be anything to do with reaper miniatures um, and roughly anything if I've got it <laughs> so if you want to let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me do any specific shows now remember I'm trying to keep all the shows for beginners if you want to if you want some really advanced techniques then there are other shows out there but shepherd's pie <laughs> <laughs> I could actually do some cooking shows, you know. I came, uh, I was, uh, I came second. I came second in the World Championships um, back in 20, well, I can't remember when. Anyway, I came second in the World Championships for the best pie in the world, um, and and it was uh, that was a very, very big achievement in my life years ago. Um, also, came second for the best apple pie in Great Britain. Um, I got all the certificates to prove it, um, and that was an amazing achievement. So yeah, I do like pies and apple pies. Um, that was um, so really good times doing that, making pastries and things. Yes, 
I was good at. Uh, I was. Uh, I was a good. Uh, I was a good uh, little chef. <laughs> uh, but what uh, what happened? To, the reason why I left the catering industry is because, of course, um, I suffer with anxiety. Uh, and so when I was doing um, in the kitchen, when I was on the hot plate, um, I'd end up sometimes getting a little over excited to get my anxiety. Um, so I had to. That's why I started my miniature painting full time because I had to change my career. I didn't really have much of a choice. Uh, anxiety is a nasty thing to have. Um, but believe it or not, since I've been doing my miniature painting, um, I've not had a, a full on anxiety attack. Um, so it just proves how cool miniature painting is that it relaxes your heartbeat and gets rid of all the stress in life. But yeah, I still love my catering. I still love my cookies and my food. Mm. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, a miniature painting is a fantastic thing. Recommended for everybody. Um, and it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. Everybody, everybody needs a nice little hobby. Okay, so this is about um, as far as I can really go on this miniature today. I don't know, it looks really wonky. What's, what am I missing here? There you go. There we are. So all I've done to improve this building, and it has improved it so much, is we've added a mat to all the roof area. We've gone over all the edgings with black. All around the windows and the doors and all around the little porthole there on the windows and um, all, all we've done then is we've painted the brown clips uh, with some brown the gray clips with brown sorry and I've gone over with a black ink wash and that's improved at 100% 100% now all I need to do is um, I'll be adding brown to the base uh, these are trees from Mantic Games and I know uh, Tim's got some of these trees as well uh, because he backed this Kickstarter as well this is another one of Mantic Games' Kickstarters and it's with these little trees and you get this little tree stump so I've just stuck a tree stump here and a little tree there and again we've got these walls these are from Mantic Games and very simple paint um, and I'll get them all done up but what I'll do is I'll get this one all finished and when I upload this onto YouTube I'll show the finished uh, miniature now I will do um... <laughs> yeah uh, porky piglet um, I will be doing a, a video of each building I've got from the uh, Kickstarter so I, I will get that done and I'll do a little video um, if you do want to see more of these little videos of each one like I'm doing on Twitch today um, I'll, be, I'll be quite happy to do more um, so just let me know in, in on my Patreon or Discord or Twitter uh, what you'd like to see. 